All right, what's going on guys? My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I wanna to share with you three simple techniques that you can start implementing today in your workouts that are gonna help you move towards either your first pull up or if you already have one or two, gonna get you some more pull ups. So I get a lot of messages from you guys that are like, Derek, I love the idea of body weight fitness, I love the idea of calisthenics, but it's hard and I'm having trouble getting into it and doing my first pull up is hard. And you're right, it is hard. You're pulling your entire body weight up. So uh, it does take some time to develop the, you know, the strength and uh, the technique to do it, but I'm gonna share with you guys today like those three simple techniques that I really think are going to help you move towards either getting your first one or you know, crushing some more. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is you gotta get on the bar and you gotta hang. Every single workout you have to get on this bar and you have to hang for as long as you can, 10, 20, 30 seconds, because if you can't hang, for 10 seconds, if your grip strength isn't strong enough to hang for 10 seconds, there's no way that you're gonna be able to then go and pull yourself up from it, because you're, you're gonna be concentrating all your efforts and all your strength on your grip and holding the bar really tight. So you want that to come effortlessly, right? So whether you have to grip it in a chin-up fashion or pull-up style with your hand, your palms are away, it doesn't really matter at this point. I just want you guys to strengthen your grip strength. So get on the bar and hang. And then when hanging with two arms gets too easy, you can always just hang with like one arm and that'll really strengthen your grip. So when you're gripping it, if you wanna grip with your uh, thumbs underneath the bar, that's totally cool. I like to grip with my thumbs over the bar because I find that it does give me a little bit extra strength having that thumb there. But listen to your body. If it starts giving you any pain, change your grip and uh, obviously consult a physician before you start any of this. <laughs> so the second thing I want you guys doing after you uh, get really good at hanging and your grip strength is nice and strong are what we call scapular retractions or packing your shoulders. If there's one thing that you take away from this, it should be this that I'm gonna teach you right here because this will benefit you when you're doing uh, like chest exercises, when you're doing uh, like shoulder shrugs, so many different things, push-ups, Everything, you have to learn how to pack your shoulders, do scapular retractions. And basically what it means is allowing or pulling your shoulders down and back, pulling your chest up, uh, but not exaggerated using your posture to do it. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the bar because it is really important to learn for pull-ups. Actually gonna bring this one a little closer for this. So first I'm gonna show you a dead hang and it's basically when you're not doing uh, the scapular retractions or pulling your shoulders down and back, you're just letting your body hang dead. And when you move forward in calisthenics and with other things, it's not something that you uh, have to totally avoid. It's not that there's never any benefits to letting your uh, shoulders kind of hang up towards your ears, but for initiating the pull up, you'll see why this is a really important movement to get good at. So here we go. Grabbing the bar, this is what a dead hang looks like. You can see my shoulders are up near my ears. So when you pull your shoulders down and back, that is now a packed shoulder, scapular retraction, uh, an active hang if you wanna call it that. So this is what I want you guys to practice. So let yourself hang, dead hang, and then pull up into that retracted movement. Dead hang, scapular retraction. Dead hang, scapular retraction. So the reason I want you guys to get good at this and to learn this is because, like I said before, it's the initiating movement to a pull up. So watch, the very first thing that I do after I grab the bar and I'm hanging in a dead hang is I pack my shoulders, that's the very start of the movement and then I pull up from there. If you try and pull up you know, from a very dead hang, then it's much harder to do. So I'll show you guys from the back as well because this will really help. So a dead hang, you can see shoulders up by my ears, scapular retraction. So the very final step is a very powerful one. And again, this will translate across you know, many different exercises and movements, but it's focusing on the negative part of the movement. So you might not be strong enough to pull yourself up, but I can guarantee after you've been hanging for a while and after you've done those scapular retractions, you definitely will have enough uh, power to let yourself down slowly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. 
So ideally you would have a pull-up bar that is like lower, right? Um, but I'm gonna use the barbell here because it's kind of the easiest thing that we have around. Um, but if you're at a park or something like that, I guarantee that you will be able to find a bar that's you know around chest height or something like that. Uh, even if it's a little bit higher, as long as you can grab it and jump and give yourself some momentum to let yourself down slowly, it's gonna help you progress. So here's what it would look like. Basically get a good grip on the bar, nice and wide. Remember, you wanna try and pack your shoulders when you get to the top of this, but because you're kinda of like, you know, jumping and you're using your momentum, it might not all happen at once, but it will come together in the end, I promise. So with this one, because I'm already at that chin up height, I don't have to jump at all. I'm just gonna support my weight from here, lift my legs, and then slowly let myself down. And then climb back up, lift my legs, slowly let myself back down. So this is a little bit too low. Ideally, it would be something higher. So let's see what it looks like if I actually jump right up to that bar. So I'll pretend I don't have full strength to pull myself up. And even if you can only get yourself halfway up into this movement like this, and then let yourself down slowly, it's still gonna help progress towards those pull-ups that you're looking for. It's gonna fall apart, I don't think so. And you have and then if you have one of these aerobic steps, you could use this if you uh, didn't want to have to jump up to the bar. Jump, down slowly, jump. And even if you want to hold yourself up there, that'll help get that strength too. And then let yourself down slowly. So that's really it. If you guys practice those three things and you're consistent with them, along with incorporating Australian rows, which I mentioned in a previous video, my playground workout. So if you guys don't know about Australian pull-ups or Australian rows, look into those as well. So the three things I've taught you here today and the Australian rows, you guys will be doing pull-ups in no time. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if you think these are gonna help you or if they have helped you or if I've missed any tips that might help everyone else do their pull-ups. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna finish my workout. I love you guys.